What's up guys? Uh, so this is going to be a different kind of video. I'm inspired by my, one of my favorite YouTubers, Big Quinn. Now, he, what he does is he'll listen to an album, a recent album, and he'll record his first reaction of the album. And based off the video, you'll see if he likes it or not, he'll go over it. It'll, it's pretty much like a review, but you get to watch his reaction. now. I'm going to do that same exact thing. I'm not planning on doing this a lot. I'm just going to do some classic albums that I've never heard before that I I need to hear. Uh, so for this video, I'm going to do um uh what is it? Uh, I'm going to do Illmatic by the rapper Nas. Uh, people say it's like one of the best albums of all time, uh, and you know I feel like it's just time that I listen to it. So here we go. Uh, first reaction, Illmatic, let's go. Okay, this is, uh, this is the Genesis. Wow. Oh, shit. There ain't nothing out here for you. hype about that song but I wasn't really feeling that one uh the chorus was just him saying New York State of Mind over and over again it wasn't really all that thrilling I guess um it was alright alright this is Life's a Bitch featuring AZ never kind of makes me feel like, like I'm on a beach or something maybe it's like Life's a Beach I don't know maybe it's like a play on words or something like funny huh this is The World Is Yours Yeah, I definitely think Jay-Z did that one better. Alright, this is halftime. He just says ha he just says the name of the title in the chorus over and over again. That's why he keeps doing it. <laughs> it's still halftime, wow, who could have known? Alright, this is the moment we're halfway through the album. Uh Big Quinn will usually do his break time, so I'm gonna do my break time, uh Today, got some ice cubes, straight out the freezer, and some barbecue sauce. One of the favorites of mine, so. Oh, sweet baby race, by the way. Duh. Mmm. Really good. Alright. Memory lane. Sitting in the park. This one's kind of boring. He really just keeps saying the title of the song in the chorus over and over again. That's really what he keeps doing the whole entire album. I'm not really seeing what's so special about this. This is One Love. This doesn't sound like Nas in the chorus. Kind of sounds like a, a nasally baby, or like Tommy Pickles or something. Yeah, this one's alright. Uh, I think there's some kind of story behind it or something, but I don't know. I wasn't really listening because I can't really understand all this dusty ass music. This is one time for your mind. 
here we go once again. Same one time for your mind over and over again, really. The beat's kind of cool, but kind of sounds like some like I don't know, like a la like ASAP Rocky kind of shit. Uh, I don't appreciate that shit. All right, here's represent. Yo. Do these choruses, man. <laughs> this album's kind of a joke. All right, last track. It ain't hard to tell. Let's do it. Really? Tell me that's the chorus right now. There, there's no other words. It's just it ain't hard to tell. You know what, Nas's rap should be locked in the cell because it ain't hard to tell that this album is fucking trash. Uh, alright, so my final thoughts about this album, I would give it... You know what, I'll probably give it another listen in the future, but... For now, first listen, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Uh, honestly, the chorus is sucked. The first track, the, the Genesis, that was a good fucking track right there. But overall, there weren't enough hi-hats, weren't enough 808s. Uh, I couldn't understand anything he says. I'll have to go to Rap Genius for a lot of these lyrics just to understand anything he's saying at all. I literally could not understand the words he was saying. That's a problem when it comes to rapping. Um, and overall, I would say Nostradamus was better than this. Um, yeah, so overall I just wasn't really feeling it. I don't see the hype around this album. Uh, 6 out of 10. Thank you.